Chevrolet is investigating uh, gearbox issues. And an NHTSA has been informed of that. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, that is. Boy, oh boy, does that sound good, regardless of the gearbox issues. Now, General Motors issued a service update to sort some problems regarding their transmission control module. And that's for the 2020 and the 2021 C8 Corvette. Now, it's a common problem that the C8s have in these, these uh, problems with their transmission. They said it has it's even failed in some instances within the first 50 miles of usage. Even if you ran it in the way you're supposed to. Now, they say it's stemming from a control module, which doesn't detect the communication. So it's electric. It's an electric. It's an electrical problem somewhere. So there's something wrong with the communication codes, and it has to be either clear and switched off, which makes it impossible to um to track to see what's exactly wrong with it. Now, once the vehicle is switched back, the C8 may not detect the problem again, which means that it won't illuminate, and the dealerships can't mimic the problem to see if that's actually a problem so it's going to be an issue with trying to diagnose the vehicle and it's determined to be a safety risk and it can prevent the gearbox from operating and uh communicating with the computer which would eliminate a malfunction indicator and let you know that there is an issue and so the dealer can get in there and fix it respectively now, the C8 comes standard with over-the-air updates, which means you can fix it by using the touchscreen interface and hooking it up to the, uh, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection. Now, if you're not tech-savvy, you just go to the nearest uh, Corvette dealership, and then they can sort, of sort it out for you. So, there is an over-the-air update. Now, General Motors has informed the uh, National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration about this issue with the dual-clutch transmission. And the concerns tend to be toward a leaky transmission and filter contamination. Contamination, well, and that's before the uh, recommended 7,500 mile service. That is, um, I mean, these are some good things to know. Now, problems could be caused by debris on the park position center, sensor magnet, and which leads to in incorrect um, position. And that gets sent to the transmission control unit. And therefore, an, an entire transmission replacement could be required in, in some severe cases. There's always been problems with transmission with vehicles. I remember back in the day when I used to have my Volkswagen R, R32. I had the, There was a transmission recall. And actually, they had to take the whole transmission out. And there was a problem with the module. So this is not the first time a manufacturer has had a problem with the transmission. Even Porsche had problems with their transmission. And like I said, and that's with the dual clutch transmission as well. So it's no big deal. And it's sort of expected, but it's good that uh, General Motors is, is going out the way to fix it and to make it known to the National Highway and Traffic and Safety Administration before a serious incident happened. Which is a good thing. So... Don't discount General Motors. They're making some awesome products. They got this new Z06. I mean, the future is bright for General Motors. But if you got this issue, you know, look into it. I mean, Chevy is investigating it. Work with your dealership. Um, get it fixed. And boy, oh boy, I tell you, if my money's right, I'm still going to get a Z06. I love this car. The Chevrolet Corvette is awesome. And yes, and Chevrolet is investigating the gearbox issues. It's A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And have an awesome and fantastic day. Much love. And again, thanks for coming by.